again welcome to tonight's match of the Rochester Zebras and your Culver Cavaliers. At this time, let's meet the starting lineup for tonight's game. First, for the Rochester Zebras. At guard, a 5 8 junior, number two, Drew Bowers. At forward, a 16 senior, number four, Dylan Hook. At center, 16 junior, number 11, Tanner Reinhardt. At guard, a 6 foot junior, number 20, Owen Slater. And at forward, a 6 foot junior, number 23, Bryce Walker. Head coach of the Zebra, Rob Malco. Mid-America as we get ready to tip it up here for the season opener of high school boys basketball here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. It's going to be Bogger and Binion to jump here to uh, start the game. Rainy Val, Steve on the camera, glad you could join us here this evening. We are underway. The tip is controlled by the Zebras. And here comes Bowers. Bowers with the basketball now. Bowers will run the point. He'll bring it to the near side now to Prater. Prater into Reiner. Tanner goes down low. Head fake goes up and Bogger. Good for Bryce Bogger. First points of the game goes to the Zebras. 2-0. Good, good pass by Reiner. It's Rochester breaking down the Culver 2-3 zone a little too easily. I would imagine for Coach Evans' taste. Ball's loose on the floor. First trip down for the Cavaliers. is a turnover stolen by Prater. Quickly ahead now to Tanner. Tanner is going to be called for a travel. Reinerts, the first turnover on the Zebras. 30 seconds gone by, 2 0. Zebras lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Good job of getting back on defense by Binion, but great effort on the other end by Binion Prater. Yeah, now it goes to McEwen, down, down in the corner. That is Jonas. Jonas McEwen kicks it back up. Now they bring it to the backside. Now back over to McEwen. Down low. Now they kick it back up top to Wasp. Back over to uh, McEwen. McEwen will drive, kicks it out in the corner, ball's loose, picked up by Bowers. Quickly ahead to Reinerts. Left hand, or right hand layup, bounces around, and finally falls down. Tanner has his first two, a four nothing Zebras. Zebras back in the man defense. That's a good sign for Rochester getting out on the break early. Here is uh, Jonas McEwen with a basketball, he's guarded by Prater. Now they bring it back up to the top. Wassup with the basketball. Goes left side. Now kicks it over into Kayla McEwen. Down to the corner. Three ball on the way by Height. No good. Prater with a rebound. Quickly ahead. And oh. Dylan Hook didn't see Bowers in front of him. And Hook went to grab it <laughs> and ended up traveling. Well, and Drew Bowers had a wide open layup. Well, Dylan was known for his yeah. uh, intercepting uh -huh. passes on the in the football field. Uh, he did that there. That's that's not a good idea, though. No. <laughs> no, not, not recommended. <laughs> Back to the Cavaliers. They have a top of the key. Here's Jonas McEwen with the basketball. Jonas goes left side now. Back over to Caleb. Back up top to Jonas. 6.08 here in the first quarter. 4 nothing Rochester. Now it goes into a, a Minion. Swing it back outside. Here is Wassup. Three on the way. A deep three. No good. Bowers with the rebound. Outlets to Hook. Dylan Hook in the paint. Goes up. Right hand layup. No good, but a foul coming. It's going to be the first in the quarter for the Cavaliers. 
And it's going to be called against Jonas McEwen. And a reminder, if you haven't listened to uh, a girls game yet, uh, the change the free throws this year. There's no one and one bonus. Resets at the end of each quarter, and you shoot the bonus after five fouls. So here is Hook at the free throw line. Hook's first free throw is no good. Well, you could just tell Rochester very conscientious of getting going in the transition. Yeah. They're looking, after every rebound, they've been looking to outlet it long. Yeah. And really forcing the Culver defense to get back. One way to beat his own defense, don't let it get set up. Hook misses the second one as well, and the rebound comes away to Binion. Binion quickly ahead to Jonas McEwen. McEwen to the left side. McEwen against Prater. McEwen around Prater, kicks it out into the corner. Now they bring it back up top to Wassup. Three on the way, good. So it's 4-3 now. Zebras lead by one. Coach Evans said he could do. He could shoot it. He did. Got his feet set up quickly. Prater with some pressure on him. A 10-foot jumper is good. Wow. Did we see Owen Prater do that at all last year? No, I don't think so. That was really nice. Good mid-range game there for Prater in the first shot of the game for him. And 6-3 now. Zebras lead. That's that's such a tough shot for high school basketball players. Wassup against Reinertz. Should have been a five count. They apparently knocked the ball loose enough. And now Bogger's going to get a foul for a reach in. And that's going to be his first, team first of the quarter. 4.59 to go here in the opening quarter. 6 3, Zebras. Cavaliers looking to get it in right in front of the Zebras, and they do. They get it into McQueen. McEwen, excuse me. McEwen has it. Now he's going to be fouled. Is that on Prater? Or is it on Bogger? It is on Bogger. That's going to be Bogger second. His second, second of the quarter. It'll be Culver to inbound underneath their own basket. Coach Malco going to go to the bench. And Robert Bazo will be the first one off the bench for the Zebras. He'll replace Bogger with two fouls here early in this first quarter. So Bazo will enter. He will guard Caleb McEwen. Here's three on the way. No good. Rebound. Bazo quickly ahead to Bowers. Bowers with the basketball. Bowers on the far side. Now down in the corner to Prater. Prater looking, looking. He has it. Now back to Bowers. They swing at this side. Reinhardt's three on the way for Tanner off the mark. No good. Rebound tipped around. Picked up by Height. Height with the basketball. Height for the Cavaliers will push it. Now they kick it back out. Here's Jonas McEwen to three in the corner. Gossip, he's got two threes, and it's tied at six. He's certainly not bashful either. I mean, he no. airballed the previous yeah. one, and that one was nothing but net. Not afraid. Here's Bowers with the basketball, now into the paint to uh, Reinerts. Reinerts back to Bowers, fakes a free throw line jumper, puts it on the floor, goes up again, and he's going to be fouled. Again. That's going to be the team second against the Cavaliers, and it will be whistled on. 32, that's going to be Binion. Binion will pick up his first, and now Bowers to the line to shoot two. He almost took Binion to the rack. Would that be Rack and Binion? Uh, yes, foul. it would be. First free throw is good for Bowers. 7-6 to six now, Zebras lead. Another free throw on the way for Drew. Brute. And off, back off the iron, no good. Rebound comes away to Cavaliers. Here comes Height with the basketball. He gives it up to uh, Jonas McEwen. He drives the lane. Layup is missed, but a rebound comes away to Caudell, who checked in after the first free throw. And now we're going to have a travel. Logan Caudell checked in after that first free throw for the Cavaliers, a 6'3 junior. So now a travel against the Cavaliers. They'll give it back to the Zebras. Leading by one with 3.40 to go Let's here in the opening Coach quarter. Coach Evans, he's gone to his sixth man. Let's see if he goes further in that roster yeah. tonight. Bazo with the basketball down in the corner. Bazo now trapped. Now he gives it away to Bowers. Bowers, top of the key, over the top to Reinerts. Reinerts, Tanner, back to Bowers. Bowers penetrates into the paint, throws up a running jumper off the glass. Good. 
Bowers has three. And now it's 9-6. Here's Culver with the basketball. That's Jonas McEwen. Kicks it out to Height. His shot off the mark, no good. Good box out by Reinerts. Reinerts quickly ahead to Bowers, already in half court. Bowers now will slow it down and bring it back, set up the offense. Kick it to Hook. Dillon with the basketball. Dillon into Tanner, free throw line jumper good. Nice cut by Reinerts to get open. Yeah, that free throw lane was wide open. Tanner cut in there. Nice little jumper. 11 to six now, Zebra's lead. They weren't just content to kind of whip it around the perimeter. They, it was a nice, strong cut by Reinerts. Gossip with the basketball. Ooh, that was over and back, wasn't it? Ooh, it's close. Like Gossip going to uh, get fouled. in the backcourt. And that's going to be on Prater. Prater's going to pick up his first team third. Some Zebra fans wanting uh, the over and back. Now Height will get it in. He does so to Jonas McEwen. Jonas back to Height. Back up top to Jonas McEwen. McEwen has the basketball. Rochester's not respecting the roll man on the high ball screen. And a layup coming, but nope, going to be fouled first. And just as I say that, he <laughs> whips the guy. <laughs> and I believe. Uses the ball screen to whip the defender off yep. the dribble. Well, all right. Might be on number four. That's going to be on Dylan Hook, his first. But that is the team's fourth in the quarter. So the rest of the two minutes. Here is the inbounds pass from McEwen. They give it up to Gossip. Nice job fighting over the screen by Prater. Cadell to the block, goes up, no good, but a foul coming. I'm gonna say that Tanner Reinert's got him with the body, and it's gonna be Tanner Reinert's first foul. Team number five. That will send Logan Caldell to the free throw line for the first time tonight. 11 to six, our score here. Logan free Caudell throw. had a nice year in the football field for Coach Faust, really kind of developed as a lineman on the football field. And I, let's see if you can tell he's been in the weight room some. See how he carries forward, because again, Culver needs some needs somebody to score in the paint for them. Second free throw is good this time for Caudell. 11 to seven, our score. Here on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard, Randy and Val, glad you could join us. Reinerts with the basketball over the top to Bazo. They swing it quickly over, and there's going to be a shove in the back. Uh, height. Bowers beat Height, and Height tried to slow him down. And he picks up foul number one, foul three on the Cavaliers. Drew Bowers is very good at stopping and starting. Yeah. He's got, he's just got a good idea of the, you know, the pace of the game. You know, they would say playing with pace. Bowers get it in with to Prater. Gets it out to Bazo, fakes a three, steps in, no good. Hook with a rebound. Hook goes back up. He's going to be fouled. And that'll be the team fourth on the Cavaliers. And it's going to be the first. And Drian Guas has his first, team fourth. And now Hook to the free throw line. Hook missed his first two. Have an opportunity, two more here. With under two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Off the back of the iron, no good. 11 to seven, still our score. Dylan has that baffled look on yeah. his face that, how can I be missing these free throws? Thinking about it too much. Yeah. <laughs> Just get up there and let her fly, right? Second from on the way, and this one back off the iron again, no good. Rebound fought for, and gonna be last touch by Prater. It'll stay with the Cavaliers. 147 to go here in the opening quarter. Both teams now in the bonus for the remainder in this first quarter. Here is McEwen. He kicks it all the way out to Height. Height then steps out of bounds. McEwen was driving, and then he threw the pass, and it kind of just took him out and threw it too hard, and Height couldn't get there. Uh, I was just about to say that they really kind of protected, helped protect the yeah. ball a little bit better after kind of a slow start, but that's turned over number four for the Cavaliers. There's Bowers now for the Zebras. Bowers around the screen. Bowers over no, the top. Nice right. job by Height to get over the top of the screen. Reinerts gets it, goes into the paint, tries an underhand pass. It's deflected right into the hands of Prater. Three on the way, no good. Tipped out of bounds. It's going to be Cavalier basketball. They said Bazo tipped it out. 119 to go here. 
in the first quarter. Season opener for boys basketball. Mm -hmm. Culver's starting to get a little friskier on defense uh, after a kind of a slow start on the defensive end. Height with the basketball now goes off to Caldell. Now back over to Height. Height around the screen. Height left hand layup with the right hand. Never a good thing and misses it. Rolls out and it's going to be zebra basketball. And that's one Height would like to have back. Yes, I'm sure. Great. There have been a couple drives where they just haven't been able to finish. Nice drives. 60 seconds remaining here in the opening quarter. Bowers will bring it across. He goes right side down to Prater. Prater has it on the right wing, looking, gets to Reinerts. Reinert steps back out, reverses the basketball. Now Bowers has it down in the corner to Bazo. Three on the way for Robert. No good. Reinerts with a rebound put back up and good. Reinerts has six. And the Zebras lead 13 to seven. 35 seconds to go. We've seen an act of Tanner Reinerts tonight. He's just not hes not content to just sit around the perimeter and shoot threes, and no. that's thats a really good sign. I, I really hope we see a lot more of that. Here's McEwen with the basketball. Kicks it out to uh, the other McEwen. Now back to Caleb. Caleb has the basketball. Now to Height, right wing. Height will drive, and we're going to call a blocking foul, and the basket's good. And that's going to be Tanner Reinerts' second foul. And that will count the basket for David Height. His first points of the night. And now he'll try to complete the three-point play. Coming in is Ethan Binion. And, and now Height. The, the help was just too late yeah. there. And again, he, Height, you know, he's a good athlete. Height doesn't get the, the bounce. Goes Long and picked up by the Cavaliers. Great Height hustle by Binion. To Caldell, they swing it back up top. Wasso up, up top of the three, no good. Rebound will go out of bounds. Zebras will have 6.1 to go here before the end of the first quarter. Six point one to go here in the quarter. 13 to nine, Zebras lead. Here's Bowers with it, quickly ahead. Bowers over the top to Reinerts. Three on the way for Tanner at the buzzer. Good as it bounces high and in. Tanner Reinerts gets a three at the buzzers. That thing went up and right back through. Almost hit the flag. <laughs> the flag is hanging from the ceiling, yeah. Into the first quarter at Zebra 16. Cavaliers 9. Back with more right here from Culver High School, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Culver Community High Schools, we head to the second quarter. 16 to nine, Zebra's lead. Val, your assessment of the first quarter. Well, that was just a defensive lapse at the end of the quarter by Culver. I know Reinhardt's got a little lucky with his shot, but you should not, Tanner's maybe Rochester's best three point shooter. You had a wide open look at the buzzer. Right. Um, uh, Rochester has been able to uh, attack Culver's zone pretty well. Uh, Culver has basically kept it in the half court. They have not advanced because, you know, Coach Evans really likes almost like a zone press almost. Right. He hasn't done that. He might not have the numbers to do that tonight. Uh, as for Roch Rochester's done well on the boards as well, but they have got to stop the drive. Culver will start with the basketball to start the second quarter. Cross-court pass now to Height. Height will bring it back up. Now they swing it left side to Jonas McEwen. Rochester in 2-3 zone now. Now they go down low as the sneaks back door to Caldell. And Caldell with a layup as he gets it in there. Quickly down the other way, Zebras travel. Rochester moving the ball quickly down the court. And so a turnover on the Zebras. We'll give it back to the Cavaliers. 16-11 now. Five-point lead for the Zebras. Height brings it to the near side. Now that's Jonas McEwen. Swings it left side back over to Guaps. Now back over to McEwen. Zebra's in that zone like Val said, so Culver just kind of moving around the outside. Three ball on the way for uh, Caudell. No good, but a foul coming. And it's going to be whistled against the Cavaliers, number 32. And it's going to be Ethan Binion, his Foul second. Of the Team first second. of the quarter. Zebra's in inbound. Again, I that. Binion has to be careful. I don't yeah. think they're going to take him out with two, but. Reinhardt's turnaround jumper and the free throw line no good, but a foul coming against 
the Zebras, and that's going to be whistled against number 30, Jonas Kaiser, who checked in at the quarter break. And coming out will be Binion for the Cavaliers and Caleb McEwen back in. So on the floor for Rochester is Bogger, Reinerts, Prater, Bowers, and Kaiser. So Bogger is back in. You know, yeah. Coach uh, Malco said, boy, those sophomores are hungry. And Kaiser's one of those sophomores. Here's the tip and a steal by Bowers. Left-hand layup, no good, but a foul coming. And Height's going to pick up his second and the second of the quarter. So going to the line to shoot free throws will be Drew Bowers. Just great anticipation by Bowers. Bowers had three points in the first quarter. Looking for two more free throws here. And its first one is made, 17 to 11. And a couple of substitutions coming in for the Zebras. Coming in will be a 32, Grant Clark. And Hook comes back in. So the Zebras making some changes here in this second quarter. Second free throw on the way for Bowers. Got the roll. Makes them both. That was going to be a lane violation yeah. on Culver if it not gone in. 18 to 11 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Good to see Grant Clark out there. I know he had kind of a yeah. health issue during football season and couldn't play. So great to see him out there. Yeah. He's going to. He's another big body, physical. Zebras in that zone. Three on the way. Gloss good. He's got nine. And it's 18-14 Zebras. Quickly down. Here's Prater. Prater with the basketball. Out to Reinerts. Reinerts steps in at the elbow. Good. Tanner Reinerts. Two more. Had nine at the quarter. Now he's got 11 into double digits here with six minutes That's to go. That's a great sign. If other opposing teams want to run him off the three-point line, well, yeah. they can do that. Zone and the ball's tipped. Stolen by Reinerts. Quickly ahead. Going to be tipped by Height. He tries to save it, and he does. Into the hands of Caudell. Great hustle by Height. Caudell with a pass now over to Caleb McEwen, and we're going to have a foul against Dylan Hook. The Zebra's second, and Hook second. Height will inbound right in front of the Rochester bench. 5.47 to go here before halftime. Six point Zebra lead, 20 to 14. They give it to Height in the backcourt. He'll bring it across the timeline. Now they give it up to Caleb McEwen. Swing is the left side, down to Jonas. Jonas will fire a three, no good. Rebound fought for, and it's going to be Zebra basketball. Yeah, Guasp has got to get a touch. I mean, yeah. he's, yeah, he's no pretty kidding. hot. and Yeah, he's got nine. I mean, nine if, of their 14. If the McEwen brothers want to check up three-pointers, I think the Zebras will kind of let them yeah. at least. At least for now. At least for now, yeah. So coming back into the contest is uh, Robert Bazo. He'll replace Kaiser. Here's Reinerts with the basketball. The Bowers down low to Bazo. Ball's tipped. Ball's loose on the floor. And we're going to have a jump ball, and it'll stay with the Zebras. 5.25 to go here in the opening half. I really like what I've seen from Caudill. Um, he, he really has no varsity experience prior to tonight. But yeah. Playing yeah, well. He is, yeah, he's playing well. He's not been afraid to get his uh, jersey dirty, so to speak. Bowers to inbound. They get it in, and it's going to be tipped by McEwen. It'll stay with Rochester. McEwen last to touch it. Again, we didn't have a good view. It looked like maybe Bazo yeah. knocked it off McEwen. Again, Zebras have a height advantage. They want to get the ball down low if they can. Bowers to inbound. Gets it in to Clark. Clark. Almost loses it, but right in the hands of Reinerts. Tanner with the basketball, and Clark and Reinerts kind of collide, and Tanner's going to be called for a travel. <coughs> Call for basketball. As McEwen, Jonas will bring it up. Three for height from the left wing. Short, and McEwen with the rebound. Jonas with it. And a blocking foul going to be called against the Zebras, and that's going to be their third of the quarter. And it's going to be whistled against Owen Prater. It's going to be his second. Coming in for the first time tonight will be number 24, Carson Pollock. He'll replace Clark. Culver looking to get it in. 
Jonas gets it in to Height. Now to Gloss. Gloss kicks it back out to Height. He'll reset the offense, bring it back up to the top. Looked like Clover was trying to get like an overload with Height and Gloss on the same side of the court. Good Height. job by the Zebras defending it. Now they give it up to Caleb McEwen. Now back to Height. Now to Caleb. Or excuse me, Jonas. Jonas has it top of the key. Jonas brings it to the near side now to Caleb. Back to Jonas. 4.35 to go. I like to see Gloss cut behind the defense. Yeah. Uh, Gloss is hanging out in the corner over there. And Caudill got a basket on that play uh, earlier in the quarter. They're just trying to move that 2 3 zone, trying to find somebody open. They go into Caudill. Tipped and stolen by the Zebras. Great defense by Pollock. Here's Reinhardt with the basketball. Now they give it off to Bowers. Bowers has his pass stolen by Height. Height. Against Reinerts now leaves it off for Jonas McEwen. Back to Height, up and good. And we got a timeout on the floor. It's a 60-second timeout by the Zebras on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Or, no, it's Culver timeout. Excuse me, Culver timeout. 2016 here on Giant FM. High School as the Cavaliers called that timeout with 4.09 to go here in the second quarter. Apologize for the uh, technical difficulties there. As we get ready to back from the timeout, it's Zebra basketball over to the top to Clark. Jack Reffitt now in for Rochester. Jack Reffitt in for the first time. Jack has the basketball. Reffitt now top the key, looking to get it. Bazo slashes, can't get it to him. Now they give it off to Reffitt again, back over to Bowers, Bowers is going to be fouled with a hand check. That was a pretty good foul, actually, if you're Culver. Though it is Height's third. And Height will pick up his third, team ninth. And now it'll be three fouls for Height, three fouls for the Cavaliers. Binion back in, and he's got two, yeah. so he's got to be careful. Bowers over the top to Reinerts. Reinerts now gives it off to Bowers in the corner. Now they give it to Pollock, and Pollock is going to be fouled. And that is Binion's third. Binion picks up his quick third, team fourth. So for the remaining 342 here in the second quarter, Zebras will be shooting free throws. Bowers looking to get it in. And I don't know if... Kyle Evans has many other options here. They give it off to Reiner to clear at the top. He's got to leave Binion in. Jack Clark, fire three for the right wing. Got it. Jack Clark in stride. It's actually Jack Reffitt with or a three-pointer. Jack Reffitt, excuse me. First, first crib varsity bucket, I believe, for Jack. Yeah, I'm looking right here, Clark and Reffitt next to me, and I dyslexic. it. Great hands by Bowers. Bowers with a steal. Bowers go to the hole, up and no good, but he's going to draw another foul against the Cavaliers, and that's going to be Jonas McEwen, I believe, and it's going to be his second. And that'll be number five, and that'll send Bowers back to the free throw line. Drew definitely looks stronger. He'll never be uh, <laughs> Mr. Universe, but he's definitely stronger, and he's – like that shot last year would have been maybe blocked at the rim. Yeah. And now he's strong enough that he can get to the rim. Bowers with another free throw mate, 24-16. Second all the way for Bowers. Good again. Bowers has five free throws and a field goal for seven. 25-16 on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Now they swing it left side. There's Glossop. Now they go down low and stolen by Reinerts. But they're going to say that Caldell touched it last. And they're going to change that. The officials are going to get together. They're going to talk about it. Uh, they're going to stay with it. Going to be zebra basketball. Turnover number eight for Culver, six turnovers for Rochester. Pollock gets it in, and he'll get it back. He'll run the point. He'll bring it across the timeline. Carson with the basketball. Now over to Reffitt. Rack to Bowers, left side, three on the way. Good. Bowers makes it a 28. Skip pass over the top of the zone. Nice screen by Carson Pollock. 
And nothing but net for Drew Bowers. Here's Culver with the basketball. They swing it left side to Quasi. Quas with it, now top of the key. McEwen's both out front, back and forth. Here's a three on the way by Jonas. No good, rebound fought for. Caleb picks it up, and it's going to be touched out of bounds by Reffitt. It'll stay underneath their basket for the Cavaliers. The Zebra's paying a little extra attention to Guasp now. Uh, Robert Bazo yeah. making very sure he knows where Guasp is, and I think they're communicating where he is. Jonas with it. Now they try to go down low to Cottonell. Stolen. Quickly ahead. Here's Carson Pollock. Left-hand layup up and good. Carson Pollock gets his first points of the night. Another timeout, 60-second timeout by the Cavaliers. We'll be back after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Culver High School is the Culver Cavaliers call the timeout with two minutes to go here in the second mm -hmm. quarter. Here's Coach. a steal by Pollock. Carson, up left hand layup, up and good. Pollock. Pollock with another layup. Coach Evans was not happy with his team during that timeout and he's even less happy there. Here is McEwen with the basketball. That is Caleb. Caleb down in the corner for Caudell for three, good. So 32-19, now our score on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Back to Reffitt. Reffitt in the corner to Reinhardt. Steps inside the three line. Good for Tanner. Two more for Tanner. And the Zebras lead 34-19. Well, Tanner's footwork on that has really improved. That's really nice. Here is Caleb McEwen. Now can they give it off to Wasp. Wasp over the top to McEwen again. Jonas with it, now back up top. Now Caleb, now back to Jonas. Now they give it to Gwas. Gwas with the volleyball line, hands it over to Caleb. Now they're gonna move it around out front again, between the three. They try to go down low to, to uh, Binion, and it's stolen. Quickly head to Bowers. Bowers is gonna be fouled in the bucket. And the Bowers, We'll go back to the free throw line. And that's going to be Gloss picks up his second. And coming in will be Luke Malko. Malko come in for Tanner Reinerts. And again, Zebra's really handling that high post. Tanner Reinerts, good defense in the high post. And again, it gets that transition game rolling. Bauer's good. And it's now 37. 19, 40 seconds to go here in the first half. On the far side, that is Jonas McEwen to the hole, no good. Rebound pulled away by Reffitt. Strong rebound by Reffitt, especially since it didn't hit the rim. Reffitt now to Malco. Malco, got to do something with it, gives it to a cutting Bowers. Down to a wide open Bazo, up and good. Well, I was going to say, are they going to take it down for one shot, but if you get a layup, 39-19, a 20-point zebra lead. Never mind, nice pass by Bowers. 15 under 15 to go. Now down to 12. McEwen, he's going to be fouled, and that will be foul number four on the Zebras. Had one to give there. Drew Bowers picks up his first. 10.8 remaining here in the first half. Well, not a bad foul. No, not when you had one to give, and that was his first one as mm -hmm. well. So now it'll give it off to Jonas to inbound. McEwen with the basketball. McEwen has it knocked loose by Revit out of bounds. Jack got pretty good uh, jump there and long arms was able to knock it out. Uh, Jack's a character. I really, you've never met Jack before. He's, <laughs> he's quite a fun kid. Now they bring it out front with eight. He's gonna be talking Caleb. about that one for a while. Now to Jonas. Jonas has it against Bowers. Down the corner, Caudell, three on the way, in and out, no good, and that's going to do it for the first half. At halftime, on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard, G uh, Rochester, 39, the Cavaliers, 19, back with the halftime show, brought to you tonight by Rochester Iron and Metal, a full-service metaling, recycling, and processing center that works hard to make sure that every bit of every bit is recycled properly. 
Back with more after this, Giant FM and RTC TV4. McEwen, now back to Caleb. Caleb has the basketball, now to Height, right wing. Height will drive and we're gonna call. Bowers, over the top to Reinerts. Three on the way for Tanner at the buzzer. Good, as it bounces high. Now they swing it left side to Jonas McEwen. Rochester in 2-3 zone now. Now they go down low as the sneaks back door is called. And Kaiser's one of those sophomores. Here's the tip and a steal by Bowers. Left hand layup, no good, but a foul coming by Height. Height against Reinerts. Now leaves it off for Jonas McEwen. Back to Height, up and good. Reinerts clears the top. He's got to leave Binion in. Jack Clark, fire three for the right wing. Got it. Down low to Cottell, stolen. Quickly ahead, here's Carson Pollock. Left hand layup, up and good. Carson over here in the second mm -hmm. quarter. Here's Coach. a steal by Pollock. Carson, up left hand layup, up and good. They try to go down low to, to uh, Binion, and it's stolen. Quickly ahead to Bowers. Bowers is going to be fouled in. But now to Malco. Malco. Got to do something with it. Gives it to a cutting Bowers. Down to a wide open Bazo. Up and good. Looking forward to that one at Rochester High School. So I hope you can join us for that. I mentioned the Rochester boys swimming team went 3-2 and two at the Goshen Duels last night. The girls went 1-4. and four, And the Rochester wrestling team beat Northfield 38-18 last night. So here we go. Culver starts the basketball for Excuse the me, third four, quarter. 48-18. And a steal right away by Prater. Oh, and that's and four on height. Height going to pick up. Uh, fourth foul, team number one of the quarter, and not what Coach Evans wanted. And he's going to have to go to the bench early and bring in Logan Caudell. Height will sit down, I'm guessing. Nope. He's actually going to bring it, bring out Caleb McCune. Yeah, I, this is a risky move by Coach Evans, but you're down by 20 in the third quarter. Bowers with the basketball. Now to Prater. Bauer straight away three, short off the front of the iron. Height with the rebound. Quickly up to Jonas McCune. McCune with the basketball. Now to Wass. Here's three for Height from the left side. No good. Rebound fought for. Last touch by Prater. It'll stay with Culver. On the floor to start for Rochester was the original uh, five. Bowers, Hook, Reinerts, Prater, and Bogger. And Rochester back in a man with this unit. They played a lot of zone in the second quarter with the bench guys in there. Cross with it. Off the inbound. And now back up say top. That they're back in the zone. <laughs> Mixing it up. And the Cavaliers give it off to McCune. Now back over to Height on the right wing. Right. Height has it back. Looked at Caudell in the corner. Nothing there. So now they bring it to the opposite side. Wide open three for Guaps. No good. And the rebound comes away to Bogger. I don't know what happened with Bogger. He just fell down. Yeah. Tripped over his own feet. Here's a 10-footer by Bowers. In and out. No good. And the rebound fought for still on the ground. And coming away with it is Binion. Binion has the basketball. Now to Caldell. Back to Binion. Binion kicks it out top to McCune. McCune drives the lane. Tries to go in the corner. It's tipped, but right in the hands of the Cavaliers. Caldell with a three. And no good, and Binion's going to pick up foul number four as well. On a rebound. Shove in the back. Probably should have had the fourth foul down at the foul other end. <laughs> right. I mean, that was, I think they gave him the benefit of the doubt because yeah. that was just two guys going after a loose ball, even though that was, yeah, yeah close. But. Still 39-19. Right. Here is Reinerts for three right wing. No good. Rebound. To I, opinion. I'm not like Rochester's offense this yeah. quarter, just taking quick shots. Too, much, too quick. Yeah. They worked uh, the ball well in the first half. If you're going to shoot threes, get a paint touch first. Here's back to Height. Height down in the corner to Caudell. Head fake. Steps inside to three on the way. No good. Rebound fought for. And Hook with a rebound. Three Hook and two. Looking to push. Takes it to the hole. No good. And Caudell is going to pick up his first foul. It'll be the team third of the quarter. And so it'll be out of bounds to Rochester. It's not that. It's not active nope, shooting. Active shooting. Shoot okay, they are going to give him the active shooting. He didn't indicate that at first, so I thought it was going to be out of bounds. Hook to the free throw line. 0 for 4 in the first half. See what he can do here. Start the third quarter. Free throw on the way. Again, hard off the back of the iron. No good. So it'll be another one on the way for Hook. Maybe you should shoot a hook. 
free throw on the way for Dillon. Got that one to fall. One for six. 40 to 19, Zebra's lead. That reverse jinx. There you go. Here he is, McCune with the basketball. Now off to Guas, up at top to Height. Height down in the corner to Caudell. Caudell has it, holds it, picks it up. Now he's double teamed. Now they go to Height. Height down low to a wide open McCune. Kicks it back out to Guas. Three on the way, no good. Caudell with the rebound, back up, no good. Hook with the rebound. Hook has the basketball. Quickly ahead to Bowers, right hand layup, good. 15 now for Bowers. Quickly down are the Cavaliers with five and a half to go here in the third. Varsity career high for Drew. In the corner, Caudell thinks about a three, passes it up over the top, tipped by Bowers, and Height will go get it in the backcourt. Height will bring it across the timeline. Now comes this side of McCune. McCune has it. McCune, back to Height, back to McCune, top to Key, now down in the corner. Guaf looking for his first three of the half, and he gets it. And now it's 42-22. That's Reinerts. a smooth, quick release by Adria yeah. Wasp. And now Binion going to pick up his fifth. He's done. And that's going to be the team fourth. And that will put the Zebras in the bonus for the rest of the uh, quarter. And coming in for Binion will be Caleb McCune. Also coming in for Rochester will be Bazo for Bogger. So it'll be out of bounds right in front of the scoring table. They throw it in the backcourt now to Bowers. Bowers has the basketball. Bowers. Left side now to Reinerts. They go in to Prater. Turn around jumper. Good. Nice little elbow jumper for Owen Prater. He's got four. And it's 44-22. Kind of was shooting from the high post in that 2-3 yeah. uh, zone. Here is Height, top of the key. Height goes back over to Caleb McEwen. Now back over to Jonas. Jonas has it. Back to Caleb. Drives in, kicks it out. Wasps for three, left side. Got it. And another three for Wasps, and it's 44-25. He's got 15 all on threes. Bowers with the basketball after a quick timeout to put a shoe back on. Now here's Reinerts with the basketball. Top the key, goes over the top to Bowers. Bowers back to Reinerts on the right wing. They go into Prater, free throw line jumper, turn around, got the roll. Nice job by Owen Prater to flash into that middle in that zone that's open right now. Zebra's got the hot hand right there. Yeah, Zebra's offense has been much better uh, yeah, after of late. they slowed down. Now defensively, they. Uh, You've got to stay on Guasp. I mean, if you give up the drive, so be it. But you can't give up that kick out, and they just did it again. Get it again. That time, a air ball, and it's going to be a foul against Jonas McEwen. And the Zebras will go to the other end and shoot free throws. Sorry, Dylan. 46-25. Well, I mean, <laughs> Dylan, back for you, Dylan. Throw. You get to shoot free throws Hey, again. he just made the last one, so mm -hmm. he's on a roll. Hit him while you're hot, right? Right. Well, if you average eight free throw attempts a game, yeah. coach, coach will be happy for you. <laughs> it's like a... Especially if you can make yeah, seven of those. Yeah. Hook with his first one short off the front of the iron. And Bryce Bogger comes back in. Bazo will sit down. He's missed some short. He's missed some long. Yeah, he's there's, missed some right. He's missed and, some left. And the one he made went right through uh, the middle of the net. Free throw on the way for a Hook. Hook bounces high, no good. Rebound fought for, and last touch by Prater. Out of bounds to the Cavaliers. 3.41 to go here on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Zebras lead up 46 25. Well, let's be clear Dylan's played a really good game, he except, except, except for the game. free throw shooting. I mean, yeah. if, the, if the worst thing is he can't make a free throw, the, the, I mean, that can be fixed. Here is a steal by Bowers. Bowers has it. Bowers quickly ahead to Reinerts. Reinerts, left side, dribbles in, free throw line jumper off the mark, no good. And a rebound comes away to Gloss. Now ahead to Caudell. He throws it to McCune. Jonas with the basketball. Back up top. Now they'll look to reset. They'll go to Height. Height has it. Back to Jonas. Jonas left side. Back to Height. 
Now they'll go right side over to Caleb McCune. Jump pass to Height, back to McCune. Wasp wasn't in the corner, that's where they wanted him, and now they couldn't get it. They give it to Caldell in the middle, and he is no good. Kind of looked like he come up with a cramp a little bit. Great defense by Bogger, though. Bogger is stolen, and now we're going to have an offensive foul. Bogger just took the charge by Caldell. Helter Skelter there a little bit. And Caldell picks up his second team player control foul, so it'll be no free throws. Hook will come out, and Carson Pollock will come in. Absolutely. Bogger got his feet set there. Yeah, he did on that one. Uh, 46-25. Here's Bowers with it. Now to Pollock over the top to Bowers, down in the corner to Bogger. 12-footer for Bogger off the mark, no good. Tipped. Now picked up by Culver, stolen by Reinerts from behind. Reinerts will wait on his teammates, hand it off to Bowers. Now they kick it over. Down low, they go to Prater. Prater, then it's Caldell. Gets the roll. Owen oh, Prater's got eight. 48-25. Strong move by Prater to get it over Caudell. Yeah. Caudell, or excuse me, here is McCune with it. Jonas back up top to Height. Right side now over to Caleb. Up top to Height. McCune, left wing, height. They swing it back side to Caleb. Caleb has it knocked loose by Prater, picked up by Reinerts. Reinerts ahead to Bowers. Off the glass and good. Oh, nifty finish. Drew Bowers with two more. He shielded kind of the, def the ball away from the defender so he couldn't block it and then able laid it up softly off the glass with a little bit of English. 50-25 and a foul. I believe it's going to be against Prater. And that is going to be against Prater. It's going to be his third team first of the quarter. And now Luke Malko will check back in, and Prater will have a seat. 50 to 25 with a minute 39 here to go in the third quarter on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. McCune will inbound to Height. Height has it. Bob the key. They go right side now to Caleb McCune. Knock loose, picked up by McCune. McCune back to Height. Their side now to Jonas. Three on the way for him. Good. Three, Jonas McCune with his first points of the night. And it's a pretty deep three, and it's 50-28. Here's Reinerts into the paint. Reinerts kicks it back out. Pollock shoots a high three ball, high arching. Malco with the rebound, back up and good. Luke Malco gets his first points on the rebound put back. Tough bucket by Malco. Yeah. I, don't know if he had an, I don't know if he had an angle on the backboard, but he banked it in. There's a shot put up now by McCune on the other end. Quickly ahead. Here's Pollock. Pollock to Bowers wide open underneath. Good. 54-28, under a minute to go. Height with the basketball up top. Now to McCune. Three on the way for him. In and out, no good. Rebound fought for. Reinerts comes away with it. Reinerts to Bowers. Three right wing off the mark, no good. Rebound into the hands of Bogger, up and good. Malco almost had the rebound, but tipped it to Bogger. Bogger gets to the layup. And I think Culver's looking tired here. Yeah. They're just having trouble getting back on defense. 56, 28, 20 seconds to go here in the third. And they are not getting much of anything on the boards either. Height now Offensive over boards or defensive boards. To Caleb. Now to Jonas. Height drives the lane to Caudell, loses it, balls loose on the ground. Picks it up into the hands of Bowers, ahead to Pollock. Pollock, right hand layup, up and good at the buzzer. Carson Pollock gets the layup at the buzzer, and that'll do it for the third quarter from Culver High School. Zebras 58, Cavaliers 28 here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Back here at Culver High School as we head to the fourth and final quarter. Zebras lead by 30, 58, 28. You know, it seemed like they scored more than they did in the second quarter, but they didn't. To Rochester, 19 in that quarter. They scored 23 in the second. But I guess it was just uh, they were slow going on that first couple minutes in that third quarter. Yeah, they were just kind of, they seemed comfortable shooting quick threes, and then yeah. finally they got, well, part of it is they got their transition game going again, and part of it was they just, they got a paint touch. I thought Owen Prater, those two high post jumpers, yeah. it almost got him. They almost looked like they got into an offensive rhythm again. Turnovers in the third quarter. Rochester had zero and Culver had six. And for the game, Rochester was six turnovers and Culver was 17. 
So here we go in the fourth quarter. It's going to be Zebra basketball. Barger with it. Down to Malco. Loses it and touch, steps out on the out-of-bounds line. Turnover, Rochester. That's on me. I just mentioned went the whole third period without any turnovers, and then I had to start mouthing off. 4.40 to go in the uh, first half. Logan Sport and Peru are tied at 23. First game for Coach Travis Smith. Yeah. At, uh, Matt Lang down at Logan Sport, his second year. Yeah. Here's Culver with the basketball. Wass has it. Wass picks it up. Now back over to McCune in the far side. McCune has it. McCune dribbles in, kicks it out to uh, Jonas. Jonas McCune now. They're trying to go down low to Caldell. He's quickly double teamed. They kick it back out. Now they reverse it. Here is Caleb with it. Back up top to height. Zebras closed out well on that reversal. They got to do it again, and they give it over to jo or Caleb. Three on the way. No good. Bogger with a rebound. Nice rebound by Bogger. That was not an easy rebound to get. Bogger ahead to Clark. Bogger has the basketball. It's Carson Pollock. Bogger, Pollock. Prater and Malco on the floor for right now for Rochester. The jumper for Clark, no good. Clark gets his own rebound, goes back up. Can't get the bounce. Ball still loose and picked up by the Clavaliers. 58-28. Yeah, you, you can tell Culver's just getting tight. Yeah. Logan Caudill has played his heart out tonight, but you can tell he's Three on the way winded. for Caleb Caudill, no good. Ball tipped around, and Guap's going to get the rebound, but foul's going to be on the floor. It'll be Rochester's first of the quarter. And that one is going to go on Owen Prater. Foul number four. Ruffett comes back in, and also coming back in will be Jonas Kaiser as Malco and Bogger sits down. Culvert inbound. McCune looking to get it in. He does to Gloss. Gloss, quick fire three off the mark, no good. Ruffett with a rebound. Jack quickly ahead to Pollock. Pollock, layup, no good. Prater the put back up and good. Why you follow your teammate. 60-28, and we got an official timeout. Sixty twenty-eight. Not sure what the official timeout was there. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. yeah, again, Rochester again looking down court tonight. Yeah. A lot more. I mean, more yeah. tonight almost than we saw all of last right. season. Here's Height with the basketball now. Here is uh, Caleb McCune. Now to Height, Height in the corner, knocked loose by Prater, saved by Prater, but it touches the out-of-bounds line. Good hustle by Owen Prater. Yeah, that was actually kind of a fortunate break. If he had actually saved that inbounds, it would have been a layup for Caudill. So here will be Jonas McCune to inbound. McCune gets it into Height, now to McCune. Caleb, top of the key, now all over. They go to Height, right wing. Height dribbles back up, top of the key. Height brings it back to Jonas McCune. Jonas will dribble in. Looking, looking, throws it right into the hands of Owen Prater. Prater one-on-one -on -one up off the glass, good. Owen nice job by Prater to stay under control. And 62-28 now. Caudell with the basketball, and there's a reach-in foul going to be called. I believe it's going to get on Kaiser. And it is. Kaiser picks up his second. Team second of the quarter. Height will inbound right in front of the Cavalier bench. 5.32 remaining in the ball game, 62-28. Here's Caudell with it. Jonas has it, top of the key. Jonas looking. Now he'll bring it back to the near side. Gives it off to Gloss. Gloss penetrates. And we're going to have a hold. And it's... Probably going to be against Clark, I'm guessing. And it is. Grant Clark going to pick up his first foul. Team's third of the quarter. And that will give it out to the Cavaliers underneath their own basket. Height gets the inbounds pass. Quickly up top to Gloss. And a junior and four sophomores out on the court yeah. for Rochester right now. So this is only the Zebras of the present, but the Zebras of the future. Pretty young Cavalier ball club as well. And I think, you know, Bowers and Reinerts are yeah. juniors as well. I mean, height with a turnover into the hands of Kaiser. Quickly down on the Zebras. Trader with it. Out to Reffitt. He'll fire three from the left wing. Short. Rebounds fought for. And Jonas comes away with it. Goes back up, and he's going to be fouled. Kaiser with a good rebound. 
And that one's gonna be on 15. That's gonna be on Caudell, his third. And that will send Kaiser to the line for two. Jonas Kaiser and Jack Reffitt are doubles partners in tennis. Davis Rainey getting ready to check in. Kaiser's first free throw is good. His first point of the night. <clears throat> Davis Rainey comes in and Owen Prater will sit down. I believe that's the first career varsity point for Jonas Kaiser. 63-28. An 11-0 run since Kaiser. Me, Second one good as well. Make that a 14-0 run dating back to the third quarter. It's gone from 50-28 to 64-28. 64-28 with 4.45 uh, to go here in the fourth. Here's Kaiser with, or excuse me, that is McCune with the basketball. Down low, tipped around, picked up by Caleb. Caleb has it stolen by Clark. Clark quickly ahead to Pollock to ref it. Three right wing, got it. Jack Reffitt with three more. He's got six for the night. And it's 67-28. Here is McCune with the basketball now. McCune dribbles down. McCune back over the top to Caudell. Back up top to Height. Now over to Caleb McCune. Downloaded to Jonas. Now they swing it. Three for Guaswell on the way, way off the mark. And a quick rebound by Kaiser. Kaiser will dribble down, one on two. Kaiser gets hit in the head. And that foul is going to be against Caudell. And that's going to be his fourth team second of the quarter. Carson Pollock looking to inbound. And it's an orange, small yeah. orange ball that made its way out on the court. Yeah. So they stop play. Now we'll get it back going on the inbounds. They get it in. Clark right in the middle of the lane. Layup good. Nice little five-footer there for Grant Clark. And he's got his first two. I believe those are his first varsity points as well. Again, this Culver team is going to look a lot different when they get Jack Rogers back. Yeah. Height. height side is height. Now over to uh, Caleb. Caleb drives the lane, and he's going to be fouled, but I believe it's going to be before the shot, so it'll be out of bounds to the Cavaliers. And it's going to be whistled against 32. Grant Clark, his second, team fourth. Nope, they can do call it on the shot. So uh, Caleb McEwen looking for his first points of the night. Caleb is listed 6'1", and Jonas is 5'11". <laughs> and they're twin brothers. I First free throw for him is good. He'll have another one. Sack one gets hit to roll. 69 to 30. Both McEwen brothers are very good pitchers on the Culver baseball team. Quickly ahead, stolen by Cavaliers. Caudell with a layup, up no good. And Pollock with a rebound. Ahead to Kaiser. Kaiser jump stops and he's gonna be fouled and that's gonna be height. That's gonna be his fifth. Team third. And coming in for Rochester will be number 12, Hunter Honkamp. And for the Cavaliers will be number 10, Adam Peterson. Adam Peterson, a 5'5 sophomore. And for Hunter Honkamp. In for Rochester, he'll replace Kaiser. And Honkamp is listed as a 6'3 junior. Kyle Evans just loves Adam Peterson. Two and a half to go, clock runs. He's listed at 5'5", five, five. that might be generous, but boy, he plays a lot of heart. Plays soccer and cross country during the fall, so he can run all day, you know that. Here's Davis Reaney with the basketball. If you play those two sports. Reaney, yeah, no kidding. At the same time. Now over to Parlick, and we get a timeout on the Zebras. It's a 30 second timeout with 2.16 to go here in the fourth quarter. Zebras lead it 69 to 30 here at Culver Community High School. Cotterson Pollock, Davis Reaney, Grant Clark, Jack Reffitt, and Hunter Honkop. Yeah, it was interesting. I, I talked with Coach Malco. He talked about just the competition they've had in practice. Reffitt throws it to Honkop, can't handle the pass. It goes out of bounds. Turnovers. When you have competitive practices, yeah. it's going to lead to yeah. uh, competitive games, and the games are going to be easier than the practices. Under two minutes to go with a running clock here at Culver. 
In the corner, that is Peterson. Now, excuse me, back up to the top. And again, all the running clock does, it takes away chances for kids like Adam Peterson and Hunter Concomp to play. Peterson launches a three, no good. Clark with a rebound. That's, I, I just strongly disagree with it, but we're stuck with it. Unfortunately, they didn't ask our opinion. Yeah. Ruffett again throws it out of bounds. A little too hard for Davis mm -hmm. Reining over the top yeah. of him. It doesn't affect Tanner Reiner. It doesn't affect no. Drew Bowers. It, doesn't, right. it just affects some JV kids who can really benefit from some playing time. And 69 to 30, Zebras lead on the Jennings Insurance scoreboard. Graham is having us all over for Thanksgiving yeah. dinner tomorrow at the same time anyway. <laughs> And a hoop and a harm for Jonas McKeon. He'll go to the line to shoot one. Carlson Pollock pick up his first, team fifth. McKeon will go to the line to shoot one. His first attempt at a free throw here tonight. And it's good. 69-33. Here's... Well, Pollock with the basketball. Pollock looking to get somebody open. Does to Honkamp. Honkamp on the far side. Back up top to Pollock. Now to Reffitt. Reffitt with the basketball. Down to Davis Reaney. Reaney to an open Clark. Quickly close. Reverse layup. Up no good. And a rebound comes away to Gloss. Gloss quickly down the floor for the Cavaliers. 40 seconds remaining. It's McEwen with the basketball. Back up top to brother McEwen. Jonas with the basketball. Jonas against Clark, and Jonas will go back to the free throw line as Grant Clark going to pick up his third. And McEwen back to the free throw line where he was just one for one. Culver went from seven wins two years ago to 12 wins last year, but graduated five big seniors. When you talk about Keller and Ortiz. Got the bounce, did Jonas McEwen. Joey, uh, Ethan Keller, Emiliano Ortiz, uh, Joey Pizer, Oliver Morgan, and Shane Schumann. That's a lot to replace. Second free throw is good as well. Perfect three for three. 69-35, 30 seconds remaining. Zebras with it. Clark now down to Davis Reaney. Reaney head fakes and draws the foul. And Reaney will go to the line to shoot two. Do you call that a Spanish fly? That one. Wasp just plowing into Reaney. And so Reaney to the line with 18.7 seconds remaining. Trying to get into the scoring column. He's got two free throws. First one on the way for Reaney is good. Reaney with his first points. He'll have another free throw. Second on the way for Reaney. It is no good. Ball's tipped around, picked up by McEwen. 15 seconds to go. McEwen down quickly. Jonas has it. Jonas against Pollock. Drives the paint. Now kicks it back out. He'll drive again. Now down in the corner. They'll try to get it to Peterson. Gloffs for three off the mark, and that's going to do it. The final tonight. The Zebras win it 70 to 35. On the Jennings, Jennings Insurance scoreboard, when we come back, the post game being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the Zebras win it 70-35 to here at Culver High School. Power more, Giant FM and RTC TV4.